Dr. Susan Love and I'm Chief Visionary Officer of the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation. Our mission is a future without breast cancer and we do that through innovative research into the cause and prevention of the disease. Inpatient Science is a series of videos that we've made to help you understand your diagnosis and the treatment choices that you have. Your immune system is a multi-layered defense system that keeps you healthy by guarding against internal and external threats and many other things that just aren't working properly in your body. <gasps> Every day, the cells that make up your immune system work together to manage these threats to your health. There are really two teams that work together, the innate and the adaptive immune systems. The innate immune system is your first line of defense. It operates a bit like a neighborhood watch, looking out for all types of threats. The innate immune system includes teams of cells called neutrophils and macrophages. These are the cells that patrol for suspicious behavior and other threats to your body. They are everywhere, especially abundant in your skin and mucous membranes, like the lining of your mouth, nose, gut, or lungs. They are the first responders, not only to bacteria and viruses, but also when your cells go rogue, as in cancer. If the innate immune system comes into contact with a cancer cell, it knows the danger is too big for it to handle. At that point, they call in the next team, the adaptive immune system. The adaptive immune system is made up of highly specialized cells that respond to specific threats. Each one does something different, and you want the right cells to show up at the right time. Your B and T cells, also known as lymphocytes, are the white blood cells that are the MVPs of your adaptive immune system. These cells, unlike the cells in the innate immune system, do not patrol. Instead, they hang out in the lymph nodes, waiting to be called into action. When they receive a message from the innate team that a particular invader has been spotted, the cells of the adaptive immune system jump into action, producing the specific response necessary to take out the threat. One of the most amazing things about the adaptive immune system is its memory. It has the ability to remember past threats that it was able to contain. If you are exposed to an infection or an abnormal cell, the adaptive immune system gets the message and develops a response that is specifically designed to neutralize it. If you get exposed to the same infection again, the adaptive immune system doesn't need a new response. Instead, it remembers the intruder and sends out B cells and T cells that are already trained to contain it. The immune system is really a very coordinated and complicated organization of cells working together. We're only just beginning to recognize its role in breast cancer. Immunology research is a promising new field of study that we hope will give us more powerful and more thorough tools to treat breast cancer. For more information about how the immune system can help fight cancer, watch our video called Immunology and Cancer. Our mission at the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation is a future without breast cancer, and we do this through innovative research into the cause and prevention of the disease. You can join us at drsusanloveresearch.org to participate in our research or to help fund our research, because together, and it's gonna to take all of us, we can be the generation that ends breast cancer. <laughs>